Well, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Hey, we're going to take a look at this strange bag that came with the Jeep Gladiator. What I'm talking about, if you're like me, once you got it and you opened the back, or maybe the sales guy pointed it out, there's this bag back here and it's supposed to be for the tops. You're supposed to be able to take the tops off and put them in this bag. I've never done it. Uh, I'm going to do a little mod with the Gladiator actually where I'm going to do away with those tops. But I don't know how to put them away and I don't know how that thing works. So we're going to get it out, we're going to take a look and I'm going to show you how to store your Freedom Tops or your Freedom Panels in that bag that came with your Jeep. Okay, let's take a look at what we've got here. It comes in this plastic bag thing. So let's go ahead and get it out of here. Let's see what this is. doesn't really look like those tops are going to fit in this bag, but I don't know, it's supposed to. Okay, it unfolds. And we have a little case here on top. It's got a couple of plastic things in it. I don't know what these are for. Let's go ahead and unzip this thing. can see here and there is a little chart in here kind of shows you what you're supposed to do or I guess where things are supposed to go uh, I still don't know what these are for but we're gonna figure that out so let's go grab a top and it says in here apparently that you're supposed to start with uh, number one which would be the driver's side so, we need the driver's side first. So let me go grab that and we'll see what happens. Okay, we've got the first one off and <clears throat> judging by the pictures, it goes in uh, first, it looks like. So, I don't know, let's go ahead and slip it in. This looks like it slides right in at the bottom there. And then we still have these blocks. I'm not sure exactly what they're for, but let's go ahead and grab the uh, passenger side, see how it fits. Okay, we've got the top off here. And according to the picture that's over here, it's supposed to go on just like this. It slides right in over the other one, and that's it. I'm gonna tell you at the end, what these are for. They're not for this. So let's go ahead, slide this thing in its grooves. Like so, that's about it. It just kind of sits in there. And actually, I left out a part. Before you do that, you're supposed to go ahead and fold this up over the top. Obviously, to uh, keep them separated and protect them from each other. So, like that. Now, Go ahead and slide this one in, like so, and it just kind of sits over the other one like that. That's it. Now we'll slide the whole assembly down there and stand it up, because we're going to need to do that, I think, so everything settles down and we can zip it up. Because right now, as you can see, it won't zip. So, let's go ahead and do that what kind of settling we get. And there we go. And find the zipper. I think it's over here. Yeah. I'm going to pull this up over the top like so. And then we'll go ahead and zip it up. And that's it. That's all you have to do. So we're going to go ahead and set this aside and I'm going to show you what these blocks are for. You know, they were uh, inside this compartment here. So I'm going to go ahead and set this on the floor show you what these are. All right, right here on the corners of the hardtop is where these go. At least from everything I could find. They would go like this and fit up right over the edge here like so. 
and that's to protect this edge when you're storing this thing if it's sitting on the floor. And they also put these little beveled or angled edges here so that when you go to tip it, you can tip it up if you need to lift it. That is what these are for. So they don't serve any purpose uh, on the freedom panels. So it'd be nice if they had some kind of instruction out there. I couldn't find anything in the manual um, or really anything else on the web uh, as to what these are for, but uh, that appear, except for one spot, I should say. But it appears that's what these are for to protect the edges of the hard top should you take the hard top off. Kind of makes sense because if you're storing the freedom panels, you might go ahead and remove the whole hard top anyway, so they've given you a way to protect that too. Anyway, that's it. This video was a little longer than I thought it was going to be because of these things, for me anyway, um, and trying to figure out what these were for. Thanks for watching. If you haven't before, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive. all about my 2020 Toyota Tacoma manual off-road. And make sure you click that notification bell so that you don't miss any upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.